negativity in your life, shake it off. If you are sick right now, whatever disease that is in you, shake it off. So, so look at that neighbor, and I want you to, I want you to go like this. Let's go, everybody, like this. Come on, like this. Shake it off, 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 shake it off. Come on, say, shake it off, 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 shake it off. Poverty, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Poverty, come on, say, shake it off, shake it off. Dizzy, come on, say, shake it off, shake it off. Dizzy, come on, say, shake it off, come on. Shake it off, shake it off, let's go, one, two, three, go. Come on, someone. Hey, hey, hey. my God is good, oh. Everything that I would have blue. 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 Say your money double double. Say your money double double. Your motto double double. Your blessing double double. Come on, someone say double double. Come on, I want you to do to your neighbor. Zambe wambo yo. Come on, come on, say Zambe wambo yo. Eh, Zambe wambo yo. Then he got to come go say, say, Nani ago kabolanga na yesuwe. Nini ago kabolanga na yesuwe. Mokote, mokote yawe. Mokote, mokote, Yahweh. Come on, let's say. Nani ago gabolanga na Yesuwe. Nini ago gabolanga na Yesuwe. Mokote, mokote, Yahweh. Are you ready, somebody? Say, let's go. One, two, three. Say, the walu, walu, wai. The wai ya solo, wai. The walu, walu, wai. The wai ya solo, wai. The walu, walu, wai. The wai ya solo. Are you ready to lift Jesus higher? Let's go everybody like this. Just wave your hands. Just wave your hands unto the Lord. Just wave what you have in the hand. Just wave whatever you have in the hand. Come on, someone. Somebody celebrate, 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 celebrate. Shubo, shubo, shubo. Hade, hade, hade. Uji tendere za mawoko, uji tendere za. Come on, say. Uji tendere za mawoko, uji tendere za. Come on, say, say. 
Uzi tendere za maboko Uzi tendere za bote Uzi tendere za maboko Uzi tendere Uzi tendere za Uzi tendere za maboko Uzi tendere Uzi tendere za Uzi tendere za maboko Uzi tendere Just just wave something in your hand Just wave something in your hand Celebrate 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 Somebody scream Hallelujah Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen! I'd like to welcome all of you to Holy Ghost Embassy. Kindly take your seats. I'd like to welcome all our viewers on Facebook, on Twitter, Amen, on YouTube. Keep watching DDTV and your life will never be the same again. Amen! We'd like to invite you to our second day of our Easter convention. Amen. We want to acknowledge our father and mother in this house, Prophet Didi Isaac and Evangelist Hope Isaac. Amen. We want to welcome our special guests for the convention, Bishop Sibanda, Apostle uh, Tabu and his wife. Amen. And especially we'd like to welcome all of you seated here in this great house of God tonight. Amen. Let's give yourselves a round of applause. Hallelujah. I think you can clap better than that. That was for your granny. Let's clap for yourself and for the Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, we are titling our conference, The Resurrection Conference. Amen. Amen. And if you've been here, you have seen that God is able to take dead things and bring them back to life. Amen. Amen. We had a powerful demonstration of how God can take a relationship that is dead and close to dying and resurrected. Amen. Amen. By the power of the word of God coming through the prophet. Amen. Can change your situations around. It was like uh, speaking to those dry bones and commanding them to live again. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, So we are talking today about resurrection. Somebody say resurrection. resurrection. Those dead things in your life that God wants to live again is going to cause to come to life. Somebody say come to life. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, in Luke 4, verse 18, in Luke 4, verse 18, Hallelujah. Amen. Luke 4, verse 18. It says, Luke 4, verse 18. If you're there, say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Speaking about Jesus. Now, who knows that we celebrate Resurrection Sunday because... Jesus was raised from the dead. And when he was raised from the dead and he went back to be with his father, when he got to heaven, he said, now I can send the Holy Spirit to go and live inside my children. Amen? So the same spirit that anointed Jesus is available to you and me. Somebody say, I'm anointed by the Holy Spirit. Amen. So the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Somebody say, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me today. And He has anointed me to preach the good news. Amen. To the poor. And He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Somebody say, heal the brokenhearted. Amen. I'm going to spend a little bit of time on that today. Jesus didn't just go to the cross and have his body beaten, 
it whipped, it flesh torn out, a crown of thorns. He didn't get beat up for just your physical healing, amen? But he also went through all that pain and suffering so that you can have your heart which has been broken to be made whole, to be healed, and to be strong again. Amen. Amen. You might have had an operation in your body. You might have hurt your foot. You might have hurt your back. You might have had something that you did to your body, and it was painful at the time, but it healed and it got better. Somebody say it healed. Amen. But some of the pain that you experience that doesn't seem to go away is the pain from broken relationships. Amen? The pain from broken relationships. Amen? When your mother or your father, who you love dearly, they pass away, and you experience that loss of having those two very important people in your life who you loved, who, ro ra rose, who raised you up. Amen? That you knew from the time... That the first thing you can remember is your parents. Amen? And they pass away and they're no longer there. That pain of no longer having your parents there, that grief, that sorrow. Amen? Or that pain of losing a child, or the pain of losing a husband or a wife, or the pain of maybe your best friend moving to another country and you know that you're not really going to see them ever again. Amen? So all of us have experienced pain. Now, the pain that you kick your foot and you hurt your toe, that pain heals and you tend to forget all about it. Amen? But there's a pain in your emotions that just the memory of it brings back all that painful emotions back into your heart. And you feel that pain. You feel that sorrow as if it happened yesterday. Amen? But I've got good news for you today. Jesus has come to heal the brokenhearted. Somebody say, he came to heal the brokenhearted. Amen. Amen. So this weekend, God wants to heal your broken heart. God wants to cause those dead things in your emotions to come back to life. Amen. God didn't design you to live with pain. He designed you to live with joy. Amen? Amen. Now, pain is normal. Grief is normal. If you lose someone that you love, you will experience pain if you're a normal human being. Amen? You will experience that loss. Amen? So grieving and pain is a process that you need to work through. Amen? Amen? But you are not supposed to live every single day of your life walking in pain of regret, of failure, of loss, of bad memories. Amen? You are not supposed to be tied up in those chains. And Jesus has come to set you free today. Amen? So he's come to heal the broken hearted. Now, if you allow your heart to be broken for too long, then the devil can take you. He can unlock a prison cell. He can put you in there and he can lock the door and he can leave you bound in that prison. Amen? So he also has come to deliver you and to set the prisoners free. That means he can unlock the cage or the prison that you find yourself in today, he can open it, he can take you by the hand, you can say, my son, my daughter, I'm taking you out of that prison that you find yourself in. Amen? So today, I've come to remind you that your prison doors will be opened. Jesus will take you by your hand and he will lead you out and he will set you free. Amen? Hallelujah. We have an enemy. And the enemy is Satan, the devil himself. But we thank God that through Jesus Christ we have the victory. Amen. Recovery of sight to the blind and to set at liberty them that are bruised. Amen. So today as I was praying here, I just felt 
quite a burden in my emotions that there are a lot of people out there that you are hurting. Amen? And the hurt that comes is from broken relationships. The hurt comes from losing people that you love. From not being able to see your loved ones. Amen? There are some of you that have lost children. And you raised those children up. You, ladies, you carried that baby for nine months. And you raised it up and the child died. Amen? I've got good news. You are going to see them again in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. You are going to see some of those lost ones, those loved ones in heaven. Now I also need to encourage you that if you have loved ones here on earth and they don't know that Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior and the Son of God, then you need to tell them about them so that they can also have eternal life. Because Jesus came to give us life and life that abounds forever and ever and ever and ever. Amen. So today, I am believing that God is going to be doing something in this service. I'm not sure what prophet has planned, but I'm believing that this, as the Spirit is leading me, it's also going to lead prophet. Amen. In fact, as the, prophet, the Spirit is leading prophet, the Spirit will also lead me. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, so tonight, get yourselves ready for total deliverance, total healing. Amen. Uh, we had a powerful session this afternoon. Amen. I mean, we've been here from nine this morning, but particularly this afternoon, we saw the heartbeat of God. We saw the Spirit of God moving. Amen. Who was here this afternoon? Amen? Who saw what God can do? He can take a situation that is finished. It is dead. It is hopeless. And by His Spirit, He can turn it around. Amen? He can make you have a 180 degree turn. So I was going this way down the wrong road and God can stop me. He can turn me around and He can make me go back on the right road. Amen? So tonight, I've got good news for you. If you've come here with a need, God is going to meet your need. Amen. And as uh, Pastor Sipo was saying, be specific. Whatever you came here to ask God for today, be specific. Amen. Be specific. Tell God exactly why you are here and what you want. And God will answer you. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you to all to stand up as we welcome the father of the house, the founder of Holy Ghost Embassy. All of you, please rise. Let's honor the man of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, put the two hands for Jesus. Come on. Clap your hands louder. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Kindly take your seats in the heavenly places. And once again, put the two hands for my pastor, uh, the resident pastor. Clap your hands louder. Come on. Praise God. Tell your neighbor, you just look so nice. Praise God. So tonight, we, we have a lot of things to do. Praise God. We, we have a lot of things. Can, where there's empty chairs, please, can you move, please? Can you kindly move? Kindly move, kindly move, kindly move. Kindly move, kindly move. Praise God. Jesus. Just move, just move. I don't know the spirit that God gave me is a spirit of order. Before I minister, I need to see order. Praise God. Some of you are afraid of looking at me. Why? You are afraid maybe I'll prophesy to you. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
I have uh, some good friends of mine who came and uh, they're in the house. Uh, just move, just move, just move. Just move. Just move. Just move. Praise God. Are you ready now? Are you ready? Hey, are you ready? My eyes can see very clear. I know even what you ate in the afternoon. Hallelujah. Now, before uh, I call the one who's going to be blessing us tonight, uh, I'd love to prepare you because of what you're about to receive. You must understand that uh, places differs. Places differs. And whenever God wants to pursue, whenever God wants to catapult you to another dimension, to another level, what he's going to do is going to send you a man. Which means that whatever there is a connection or there is a person who has your miracle or deliver. Praise God. Example, God answer prayer. Whenever you pray, God answers your prayer through a man. So there is no answer to prayer from God. Every prayer is answered by a man. So for example, you are praying for finances. What God is going, to, is, going to head you, is going to hear your prayer. And not him coming physically. He's going to come through a man. He'll come through a personality. And that personality will be used by God to answer prayers. So you understand that places differ. And there is already a man that God has sent for you. For example, the Bible says John is the voice crying in the wilderness saying, prepare the way, the Messiah. So there are people that look to be known, but they have divine connections. They have divine connections. But you cannot have access to these people without reaching the place where they are. That's the reason God brought you here. Now you must understand that the place that you are dealing with is not just a place. There are some places that are called the spiritual places. It is a place where there is so much the presence of God. The place is saturated with the presence of God. And that's the reason you must understand that the place that you are dealing with is a very sensitive place. The place may be very silent, yet God is speaking. Moses. Shh. Moses is coming from Egypt. And God is taking him to the wilderness. Where he must break him. And when he reaches the wilderness. He undergoes the process of breaking. And the man who was a murderer. He became the most meekest man. Because the places differ. And the Bible says when he reached a place. Where even him. He did not even know that God is in that place. But God had to remind him that Moses. The place where you are. It is holy. Remove your sandals. Which means. There are some certain places that requires or demands something from you. There is a demand of every place. There are some certain places that you enter demands you to pray, demands you to fast, demands you to be sensitive to what God is going to be doing. So ladies and gentlemen, I would love to present to you that tonight God is ready for you. You are not here. Amen. I say God is ready for you. Amen. Now, it does not matter whether you don't shout amen. Because in a place 
When God is speaking, remember there are demands of the place. For example, if you are in South Africa, there is a law in South Africa. And the law in South Africa can never be compared to the law in Botswana, which means there are different laws, which means what we do in Botswana, it can never be done in South Africa. Amen. So what we do outside there is not done here. So there are demands of this place. And the demand number one, because God is ready to bless you, God is ready to speak to you. Amen. You must be very sensitive when the word of God is coming forth. Now, when the word of God is coming forth from a certain place, it comes with different packages or it comes in different dimensions. Say different dimensions. Different dimensions. Say different dimensions. Different dimensions. Now, anointing is not, anointing is not just jumping. Most people, they associate anointing to sweating. That's not anointing. That is stress. Jumping does not mean you are powerful. There are people who don't jump yet they are powerful. Amen. And anointing is not in the big voice. Anointing is in the content in the voice. So when the word of God is coming, I would love you to understand it comes in different dimensions. The Bible says in the book of uh, John chapter 1 verse, verse 11 going to 14, the Bible says that the word of God became flesh and it dwelt among us. So there is a dimension tonight that the word of God will become meat to some people that are hungry. I receive. And the word of God will become water to those that are thirsty. I receive. And the word of God will become a life to those that don't have life. I receive. So I don't know what you want God to do for you. And I don't know what you are believing God for. If you read the book of John chapter 5, the Bible says while Jesus was teaching the word, the power, the power, the power of God was present to heal them all. There was nothing like the laying of a hand. The moment the word went forth, which means the, oh, the Bible said the entrance of God's word. So when the word of God is coming, it comes to pave way for the miraculous. Amen. I pray for you. I receive. As the word of God is going to come. I receive. In your life. I receive. In your spirit. I receive. In your business. I receive. Your life will never be the same again. I receive it. Lift your hand and shout, I receive. I receive. Lift your hand, shout, I receive. I receive. So, are you ready? Yes. Now, the place where you are, it's not like Tembisa. This is a different place. And uh, the atmosphere is different. It's very different. And what we do here, you're going to see some certain crazy, crazy things. Amen. Because God is in the place. Amen. Are you ready for God to speak to you? Yes. Three things that we need. Three things that I need to see from my sons and my daughters. Number one, book. Number two, Bible. Number three, a pen. Those three things. If you don't have a pen, you can use your iPad or your phone. I want you to write notes. I want you to document whatever God is going to do tonight. So I am not ministering tonight. I have one of a friend of mine that I've approved of the grace and uh, is very close to me. And uh, I love to sit down and uh, be blessed also. Praise God. It is... Uh, most of the time, I don't, I don't give my altar because he's a very exalted altar. And whosoever I bring on my altar, I know that he has the ability to bless you. Amen. Oh, you are not here on this. Amen. I say, whosoever I bring on the altar, he has the ability to bless you. Amen. So once again, as uh, we stand up, just stand up. Put the two hands as we will come. Apostle success as he comes to bless us with the word of God. Clap your hands. Clap, clap your hands. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Just lift your hands towards heaven. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. We thank you for the precious presence of the Holy Spirit that is here tonight 
And I know that by the anointing that you have laid upon your servant, the angel of this house, that the lives of those that are going to listen and hear your word tonight will never remain the same again. Amen. Thank you for your presence. Amen. Thank you for your glory. Amen. We welcome your anointing, your power, Amen. the mighty power of the word of God. Amen the mighty power of your spirit. Amen. May it fill this house. Amen. And I believe that, Lord, from this meeting, many testimonies are going to come out in the name of Jesus. Amen. We glorify your name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. And if you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. You may have a seat. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Turn to the person next to you and do, just do like this. Look at the person next to you and do like, so there's too much money around you. <laughs> so I smell money around you. Can you do it again? Do it again. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just turn to the next person, you know, just smell like this. So where do you come from? And the one, the one who's sitting next to this person, tell the person that just did that to you that if you are not careful, you are not careful. I'm going to employ you after this meeting. I'm going to employ you after this meeting. But say this, say, don't worry. Don't worry. Because I'll pay you a better salary. Because I'll pay you a better salary. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a wonderful place. And before I minister, I just want to acknowledge the presence, you know, of a mighty man that the Lord has sent in our lives. You see, the Bible says in the book of John chapter 1 verse 6 that there was a man who was sent from God whose name was John. In our days, it matters who is this man that is sent to you. Glory to God. I tell many people that John is not here, John is in heaven. And when you talk, you're not going to say that there is a man that is being sent whose name is John because John is not here. You need to have a man of God over your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are privileged with my wife to, you know, to have your father as our friend and our big brother in the Lord. Amen. This is the kind of a man that, you know, when we are challenged in ministry, I know that if there is any man that I need to talk at the time, it is your father, Prophet D.D. Isaac. Amen. You just missed what I said right now. You see, there are men and there are other men. Amen. I tell people that a preacher is not necessarily a man of God. By you preaching the word does not qualify you to be a man of God. Amen. There are people whom you are calling men of God, men of God this. You see brothers in the church who call this one men of God, men of God. But a man of God is not a person who preaches. That is why, look, that is why a preacher can preach to you but your life will still remain the same. But a man of God, even if he does not preach, he can say a word over your life and Amen. your life can transform around. Amen. Wow. Glory to God. Amen. I was in Limpopo. We were preaching there. There were thousands of people that were there. Then I said to them that, you see, as a man of God, from where I am standing, I can redirect things in your future. I'm saying something to them. Then I begin to say that the reason that why we call the future the future, it is not because the future is not there. What qualifies the future to be the future, it is simply because in the future you are not there. You are yet to go. That is why when you have a man of God like the one that you have, from the realms of the spirit he can stand in the authority that the Lord has given unto him. And redirect things that are yet to come 10 years from now. Amen. That is a man of God. 
You understand what I'm talking about? Am I talking something different from you? I was preaching in a particular crusade and there were government officials that were there. Then I said that a country, what it needs is not a politician. What the nation needs is not, you know, the kind of leaders that we see. Then I begin to say by the leading of God's spirit that what nations needs is a man of God. Amen. That is why every nation that perishes is a nation that is without a man of God. Look at you here. What makes your life to be different is simply one thing. There is a man of God over your life. Amen. Can I break the news to you? Yes. You are too quiet. Can I break the news to you? Yes. Look, are you, are you aware that the success of Jesus Christ was depending upon a man? The Bible says that there was a man who was called John. And it says that this man came ahead of Jesus Christ as the voice crying in the wilderness. Amen. Look. President Jacob Zuma can come to this place wearing a cap with jeans and he will just come secretly and sit there at the back. And it might be very impossible for you to notice him. But here is John the Baptist. He's coming and telling the people that, do you know who is President Zuma or do you know who is Zuma? And they will start giving you, you know, experiences of this man that is coming. That the man is like this and he's like this and he's like that. By the time the man shows up, you are already expecting him to show up. Now, John the Baptist came and shouting about Jesus Christ. The reason was the ministry of Jesus Christ was depending on the voice. That is why there was a time that Pilate called him and he asked him, are you the Lord, as they are saying, and Jesus Christ never said any word. The reason why he was not answering him, it was because, you know, Pilate had killed the voice, and that was John. There are people who were here in church, some they left. Brothers and sisters, what you need in your life is the voice crying before you. Amen. You need a man of God who can say certain words over your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So with those words, we are really grateful to have you, men of God. You know, I don't call anybody men of God because I know certain secrets in the realms of the spirit. Amen. And if I call somebody a man of God, you must know that this man is a man of God. Amen. <laughs> you know, a man of God, he carries God. Can I show you something? There, 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 there's an anointing here. Amen. There, there's an anointing here. Amen. It is, it is because of one thing. You know, when I pray, I tell people, when I pray, I don't say, Father, I'm going to minister to that church. Oh, when I get there, I want you to be there with me. No, I don't talk like that. I say, when I go, the Lord goes in me. <laughs> Amen. He is inside. Amen. You know, there are people who enter into the house of God and say, I, I, there, there was a brother who was preaching there and the, you will ask them how was the church and they will say, I did not feel the anointing of God because the Lord was not there. I said, brother, were you not in that meeting? If you were in that meeting, that means the Lord was there. Amen. Do you understand my language? Amen. <laughs> you see, there are better days to live. And one of those days is this one when you have people like your father in our generation. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Do you think I wish that I was born during the time of the apostles? No. No, 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 no. I'm too blessed in a day because there are people who, when you look unto them, they resemble the personality of Jesus Christ. Amen. That is why they can talk like Jesus. One day Philip came to me and said to him, show us the father. He said, are you mad? Have I been, you know, I've been with you this long yet you don't know me, Philip. Yeah. 
Hello. <laughs> we are very grateful, men of God, and your wife, Evangelist Hope. She has such a wonderful mother. Amen. And I want to honor the presence of the resident pastor and all the leaders that are here. Amen. Glory to God. Wow. Hallelujah. I want to show you something quickly because I'm not going to take time. I'm not going to take time. Hallelujah. By the way, by the way, my wife is here. My wife is here. <laughs> Just stand up and wave towards them. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I show you something? Go to the book of Romans chapter 5. We are reading from verse 12. Hallelujah. You see, they call me the specialist of the gospel. <laughs> That's why the only thing that I specialize upon is the word of God. You know, I was in a crusade and I told them that it was going to be a miracle and a healing crusade. There were people that were sick. Some were, you know, were on wheelchairs, some were blind, lame, all those kind of diseases. Then I, as I was ministering the word of God, I said that I don't need to come and lay hands to anybody because the word grows hands. You see, I can only minister to one person at a time. But if I'm sharing the word of God and you believe the things that you hear, where you are, you can look, cancer will disappear. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Are you there? Romans chapter 5, verse 12. I want to show you something there that is amazing. You know, Prophet, today you was talking about a wonderful subject. To those who are here, you are really blessed. You are really blessed. You see, we are the product of the many meetings that we attend. I'm telling you the truth. There were a couple, you know, I, I attended a lot of meetings when I was young. By the time I was 20 years or so 18 years, Old, I was already independent financially. Staying in my own house, having cars around, to a point whereby I begin to employ people around me. At an early age. And what made that possible is simply acknowledging the presence of the word of God in my life. And tonight, let me tell you something. Tonight, if you can believe that the word that is coming into my life has the ability to transform my life, there is nothing that will stand in your way. Amen. Are you here? Yes. Romans chapter 5, you are reading from verse 12. It says, Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world... And I want you to mark something here. It says by what? By one man. There's something that I'm going to show you tonight. He says, therefore, by one man, not by many people. He says, by one man, sin entered into the world. And death by sin. He says, when sin was introduced into the world by one man, Paul says something that is amazing here, that sin never came alone. But when it entered into the world, it came carrying something with it. And that was what? It was death. Are you with me? I want to show you something. You see, the problems that even the world is facing today, it is not because of them. You see, we preach the gospel, we'll tell people that you need to become born again. But have you ever asked yourself a question, why is man a sinful person? It is because of one man. Why the problems around so many people? Today they start a business and it does not even last. It is because of one man. There's a power. Look, you see, 
The Bible talks about two Adam. It talks about the first Adam, which is the one that introduced death and sin into the world. And I'm going to touch something there. Then I'm going to talk about the second Adam. I was telling people that, look, there is nothing as a Christian that will stop you, you know, from being successful. Because of one thing, because of another man, not because of your works. Are you with me? Let us see something here. There's something that is amazing that you'll see. It says, when sin was introduced, it came along with death. And so death passed upon all men, for all have sinned. Imagine this. It says, when this death was introduced, the spirit of sin and death passed upon all men, because all have sinned. What made them to sin? It is because of one man. Are you with me? You see, today people get married. After a few days, that marriage goes down. And many will begin to say it's because this one did this or this one did that. It is not because of that. It is because of one man. It is because of one man. Are you here? As the person next to you, are you here? <laughs> Glory to God. Now, verse 17. Let us see something in verse 17. It says, for if by one man, he says, by, for if by what? By one man. Look at this one. It says, for if by one man death reigned by one. Do you understand the language? He says, if by one man, this is the question. This is the question. Paul was arguing a case here. And as he was talking with the people of God, he began to say something. He said, if by one man, that was a question. He says, if by one man death reigned upon all men because of one man. There is something that he was directing the people into. Let us continue to see something here. Glory to God. He says, for if by one man's offense, death reigned by one. He says, much more they which receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in this life by one. That is Jesus Christ. Are you with me? Oh, oh. Can I preach like I'm home? Can I preach like, you know, like I'm home? I want you to do something. I want you to be responsive to the word. Don't keep quiet. Tell the person next to be responsive to the word. Be responsive to the word. You see, you are going to be so successful in your life. I receive. Your father is not a broke person. He was talking now in the morning. He's not a broke person. And he's, you know, he's, 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 he's my business partner. And there are a couple of things that are into the table now. Because of one man. <laughs> because of one man. Amen. Hey, hey. Look. You are born again today. You are what? You are born again today. The things that are happening around, they are happening because of the influence of one man. Sit down and ask yourself a question that if Adam caused the world to become the way it is today, between Adam and the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the most powerful one? All right. I'm building my case and I'll show you something. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Let me have two men here. There's something I want to show you. Two men. Can I have two men? Just stand here. Glory to God. There's something that I want to show you here. Hallelujah. Amen. Bishop said something that is amazing. He said that poverty is bad. The way he was saying it, I was shaken by the anointing. He said poverty is so bad. And what introduced poverty? It is because of one man. Amen. I'm telling you the truth. Amen. I'm telling you the truth. 
When I was growing up, personally, I asked myself a question that why other people are successful and other people are not making it in life? There was a time I sat down with my father, you know, then I said, did God show up and look into the people and said, this one will prosper, this one will not prosper, this one will prosper, this one will not prosper. The man said, no, everything in life is by choice. Whether today your life will increase into another dimension, that is the choice that you have to make. Are you with me? Now, this thing is getting more hot. I'm feeling the anointing as I'm talking now. You see, I'm standing in the shoes of your father. So imagine combining the apostolic with the prophetic. You get a bulldozing anointing out of it. (laughs) You know, I love something about prophets. You know, prophets, you don't need to believe in what they tell you. Are you aware of that? If he comes and says you prosper, you don't need to say, ah, Man of God, I've never seen you saying, do you believe in what I'm saying? You know, prophets, they don't ask us questions. If we say it, it is done. Whether you believe it, you don't believe it, Amen. it is done. Oh. I was sitting down with a prophet yesterday. He was telling me something. He said, look, we have received the ability of God. That means even if God does not in- instruct us to say something, we can say it. Amen. You know, ask your father how many things he hid from the Lord that he said upon you. Some, when he said them, it came from him. And when he said them, in the realms of the spirit, it got base. It was a substance. Ready to be dispersed to anybody who will receive. Oh, Papa this, Papa this, it is well. That's all. It is well. Hallelujah. All right. Look here. Are you in, 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 in the scripture that I said you must open? Second Corinthians, are you there? Chapter 5. Chapter 5. There's something that is amazing. I'm going to show you. I'm going to read from verse 17, but I want to start from verse... 21, because there's something that I want to to see there. He says, for he, who is the he that he's talking about? He's talking about God. Remember that sin was introduced into the world because of Adam. And when Adam introduced sin into the world, God was not looking into the life of Adam. Because Adam was simply an introduction of the face of the people that God had in mind. And that was you. He simply sent the man Adam as, you know, the figure of Christ who was to lead the people of God. But now the time that that man was introduced into the world, the Bible says he sinned. And when he sinned, the word says that, you know, he was cut away from the presence of God. Now the problem was not Adam. The problem was the people that were coming. Let me tell you something. The reason why even in marriages today, things are not working out, it is because of the first marriage that was established by God. That was the marriage of Adam. Are you with me? Are you here? If you're sleeping, say amen. Amen. (laughs) Hallelujah. Now, Here is Adam, stand here. He's a man that is appointed by who? By God. And when this man was appointed by God, the Bible says when he sinned, the sin of this man passed unto everyone who was born into the world. That is why I tell people that stealing is not a sin. Lying is not a sin. Fornication is not a sin. But those are simply the results of sin. What is sin? Sin, it is the separation from God. You understand what I'm talking about? When this man sinned, the Bible says immediately he was cut away from the presence of God. And there was no longer connection between God and man because of this man. 
Now, the consequences of Adam passed upon every creation that was born into the world. Are you with me? But there's an amazing, you see, just in there, we serve an amazing God of love. <laughs> you see, let me tell you something. Bishop David said something that is amazing. There was a time when the ark of the Lord was brought into Jerusalem. Because of the prosperity that was happening, that the man was rejoicing in the presence of God. He was dancing and dancing in the presence. And the Bible says that the daughter of Saul, whom David had married, he married, he was looking, she was looking from a different distance. And as she was looking, she said to herself, what kind of a king is this one? Who is embarrassing us like this? And she said to herself, after this, I'm going to approach the king and tell him, what is this that you were doing? And the Bible says that she went and said to David, how come you embarrass us like this? And I love the reply of the man David. I love the reply of the man David. You see, we are happy people because of the one that we save. Amen. David said to him, you see, you have not seen anything. He said, you have not seen anything. He said, you think that I'm embarrassing you. He said, from today, I'm going to be more wild before the presence of God. And he made a statement that because I'm dancing before the Lord my God who made me to be a king instead of your father. Now, look at this one. Now, Adam passed the sin into every man who is born into the world. That is why we say to people, they need to be born again. The reason is the moment they were born once, they were born into sin automatically. You understand what I'm talking about? When a child is born today, that child is born to fame because of Adam. That, when a child is born today, that child is born subjected to sicknesses and demons of darkness. Not because the child did something, because of Adam. I want you to, you know, to see the image so that you can see the language that I'm going to tell you after this. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. Now, look at this one. Are you there? Second Corinthians chapter 5. Glory to God. Amen. 21. Now, Remember, the Bible says in John 3, 16, that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He never gave the son because he loved the son. Ha. Huh. When God was thinking of Jesus Christ being born, he was thinking about you. Amen. All right, let me tell you something. It is not because you were pleasing unto the Lord. You were a sinner. You did not like God. You persecuted God. You hated God. You believed in other gods beside God. But the Bible says he so loved you. That means God so loves your marriage. That he wants that marriage to do what? To prosper. Amen. He so loves your business that he wants your business to do what? To prosper. Amen. And the Bible says because of his love, there is something that he did. He sent another man that is called the second and last Adam. Let me have him. You'll see something here. Come here. Anybody? Quickly. Now, here is the world, the world that is cut away from God because of this man that is called Adam. Now, God, because of his love in sovereignty that he had for this man, and he knew that he was not going to have a relationship with this man because of the sin that was caused by this man. Now, the Bible says because of his love, he so loved the world that he gave Jesus to do something. Verse 21. He says, for he made him who was the him, it was Jesus. 
Are you with me? Hello? <laughs> oh, dear Holy Spirit of God. Wave your hands towards heaven. Just wave your hands towards heaven. Say, Father, open my understanding to comprehend your word. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Look now. Here is the second and last Adam. And the reason why Jesus Christ had to be born by a virgin, it was because the blood of every man was already contaminated. And God needed somebody who was pure enough to wash the sins of this man. Because the love of God all along was for this one. Now, it says that he made him, that is Jesus, to be seen for us. This is Easter, brothers and sisters. He says he made him, Jesus, to be seen for us. Jesus who knew no sin. There was a reason. He says that we, remember we who was a sinful generation, the one that God wanted to communicate with and we could not even hear him because we were cast away from him. The Bible says he made this one and took the sins of the world and placed the sins of the world unto Jesus. Oh, are you getting what I'm talking about? He says, now, he moved them to this man because of one reason. He says, so that we might be made the righteousness of God. Amen. Have you seen people that are saying, oh, I, I believe I'm righteous because I don't do one, two, three, and four. Brothers, you cannot do the thing that you are counting and you will never stand before the presence of God. It is not about what you don't do and what you do. It is about the man, Jesus. Are you with me? We're going to dance a little bit in the anointing. You will see something that is amazing. I'm telling you the truth. You see something that is amazing. Now, there was a time that every creation in the world were legally righteous. That was when every sin was moved away into this man, Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something. God, for so many centuries, he had turned himself away from men. Men tried to talk to God. God was not listening to him because he's a righteous God. He was not listening to this man. Man was calling out to God. God was not listening unto him until men decided to look for other gods for himself. Because God was not listening unto him. But now the Bible says something that is amazing. That then God, because of the love that he had for the man that was behind him. He so loved this man. And because of his love, he made the man called Jesus. But remember, Jesus came from God. Now, God could talk to Jesus Christ because Jesus was not a sinner. He could communicate with him. At some stage, there was a time that the voice came from heaven and said, this is my only begotten son who pleases me in everything. He said, hear ye him. That was the time where God was still looking unto this man. But the heart of the father was not all along in Jesus. It was for this one that is here. Now, the Bible says something that is amazing that all along there was a communication here. Until one day, the Bible says that God took the sins of the world and placed them upon the man Jesus. When he placed these sins upon the man Jesus, he turned himself against Jesus. So that he can be able to look unto every man that is born into the world. That is why when Jesus Christ was at the cross, he cried, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabakatani. He was saying, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And if God will have answered, he would have simply said it, I've forsaken you because of the love I have for men. 
Look at you. Your life is not moving because of the first Adam. Brothers and sisters, why can't you move to the second one? You try everything. It's not working out because of the, the first Adam. Have you heard people that are, uh, have I known that man from the first Adam? I'm not after the, the first Adam. I am made after the last and the second Adam. Oh, do you get what I'm talking about? With this man, things are collapsing. Nothing is working. But the Bible says, if by this man sin entered into the world, much more they which receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness. What is a gift? Do you purchase a gift? Hello? It was my birthday yesterday. Imagine, imagine somebody comes to me and says, it is your birthday. Here is a gift. I want you to take the gift for $50 million. I will chase him away. What kind of a gift is this one? The Bible says that much more. Do you understand the word much more? That means things are going up and down in your life. But he says much more. If you can only receive the grace of this man, much more. That means the grace of Jesus Christ has more power than sin. Amen. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm talking about? Look. Hey. Karusko palatuska bararia dese. That's the only way I can communicate with you. I'm left with some few minutes. Much more. I look into my bank accounts. At times I place them there and I say, much more. <laughs> Ask my wife. I get an SMS from FNB that says, you know, minus this and this. And say, I say, you, do you know who I am? And I, I'll put them down there. I said, much more they will receive the grace. And of the gift of righteousness, I said, I, I reign in life Amen. because of one man. Amen. There are times, you know, I will be, you know, there was a time I went to a crusade. I was going to minister. And I was going to minister to the sick people. And I went there healing blind people. You know, lame people were working, but at the same time, I was sick myself. But I knew one thing that there's an anointing in me. Imagine a sick person. You are feeling pains here. You are telling this one. I'm feeling pains. I'm telling a blind man. But by the ability of the name of Jesus, be healed. And the guy becomes healed. Amen. Then the Lord taught me something that is amazing. He said, son, look, you need to put my word into practice. Amen. That is why when I feel something, I don't run and say, I've got this. You know, I put my hand there and I say, much more. Amen. Much more. I said I was sick because of the first Adam, because of the second one, much more. You don't understand what I'm talking about. Look, it had, all along it had nothing to do with you. Sin came, you did not do anything. You were simply born into the world because of Adam. Now when Jesus Christ came, he took away the sins of the world. Can I ask you a question? What will take men to hell. Is it sin? Is it because they are lying, cheating, and doing all this kind of stuff? It is not because of that. It is simply because of the re rejection of Jesus Christ. That's why God says something that is amazing, Bishop. He said, if you can only believe in Jesus, Amen. all things are done unto you. Do you need to pay something? You don't need to pay anything. Only believe. Amen. Imagine people are, you know, suffering into poverty because of ignorance. Is there any amount that you need to, be, to pay to believe? No, brothers and sisters. Decide that let me, because I am born into the world and my life is not going to the, the right direction. Let me decide to believe in this man. And see what will happen with this man. You understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. All right, have a seat. The last scripture, the last scripture. Are you enjoying the word? Yeah. Are you enjoying the word? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me show you a principle there. Do you love principles? 
Hebrews. There was a person who was saying, the Bible is all about men. I said, what do you mean? He said, because everything it talks about men. I said, which one? He said, Hebrews. I said, oh, if you like, you can say it is Hebrews. <laughs> Hallelujah. Do you love Jesus? All right. Carus capa seleho uvra harakila satus. Ons ke frakura palasuta palayara ki. I receive. Ha. You know, in my house, we've got a big house with my wife, and it's only the two of us. We've got a little baby, daughter, eleven, you know, eleven months old. At times, I will be in my house and I will select one room, enter into the room, and I will be celebrating to the room that creator is see that is in me than he that is in the world. Amen. I will make confessions, speak in tongues. After that, I put a suit and go to my office. And that is why after I've done that, I know that there is no weapon that is formed against me that is going to cross. Amen. Hence, the Bible says it is not by might, it is not by power, but by the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> All right. Are you in Hebrews or Hebrews, whatever that you will choose? Chapter 11. Oh, dear Jesus. Hi. Say hi. Are you poor? No. Are you poor? That is why, Bishop, we say poverty is simply the state of the mind. If your mind can never be transformed by the word, no matter how much you try, you will never make it in life. Amen. It is here. Amen. I said to somebody, look at your head. It is so small. I said, boy, but the same head. It's making your life terrible because you believe wrong things. And I said, shake that head a little bit. You'll see what will happen. You shake off the wrong doctrines, wrong things. Satan says you can't make it. I said, tell the devil he's a liar. Because the Bible says that let all men be liars, but God true. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Chapter 1, chapter 11, verse 1. Ha! Ha, ya, ya, ya. Karusko, parasila, kavruns. You know, prophet said something when we are coming now. I said to him, look, uh, I've realized, because, you know, I'm a very inquisitive person. Many people, they think I'm quiet. I'm not quiet. When I sit down, I look and I, I analyze. So I said to him, I've been looking unto you, man of God. I said, I realize something. You love worship. Then he said, you see, the men of old, they knew certain you know, secrets that the people of our days don't know. Then he said something that is amazing. He said, that is why the songs that they sing today are different from those ones that they were singing back then. And I realized, you know, some people don't move in life because of certain confessions that they sing every day. Hello. Amen. Amen. Look at the person next to you and say, can you smile a bit? What happened? <laughs> if you want to get married, you must learn to smile. There are people who are looking at me like this. Who's going to marry you like that? Learn to smile a little bit. <laughs> and then there are men. I'm looking at some men. I'm saying smile. They are smiling inside. <laughs> then an African man does not smile. Can you smile a little bit? Hello? Amen. Look at you. Tell the person, look at you. Look at you. Ask this person, what is it that can hinder your progress in life? Ask them. What is it that can hinder 
Ask them, why are you wearing the clothes that you are wearing today? You. Say you. This you. Why are you wearing the clothes that you are wearing today? Is it because you don't have money? Ask them. Ask them, where do you stay? Where do you stay? Ask them, why? Ask this person. He said, he say, he say, you. You. Tell them, say you. Why are you living in the house that you are living in today? Ask them, what happened with you? I thought you were born again. Say this, or oh, do you think being born again is speaking in tongues? Man of God, <laughs> did you buy these cameras with tongues? Imagine prophet, did he say, no, I want those cameras, it's all $50 million, and he speaks in tongues. No, no, he needs money. That's why you need to give in the church, because yes. tongues will never buy these things. Yes. Bishop said something that is amazing. He said, the world, when you talk about the Holy Ghost, they rejoice. Stay with the Holy Ghost without money. That is why there's a, there, 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 there are fasting. Let me tell you something. There are people who, imagine I go to my wife, and I come there, there's no food in the house. Then I'm so angry, I said, tonight, there's no food in the house. I said, tonight we are fasting. That is not fasting. <laughs> that is not fasting. It is starvation. A professional one, it is starvation. There are people who look into the house, but food is not there. Suddenly they say, to, we declare fasting. Tonight, fasting, nothing. Dogs, cats, everything, we are fasting. That is not fasting. That is why you can fast as much as you want. Nothing is working out. You know, a bishop, the Baptist, they had a saying that they used to say, they say, God, they will pray like that. They will say, oh God, keep him poor and will keep him humble. <laughs> because they claim that the moment you become rich, you're going to become proud. What about Jesus? Can we talk something here? Look at you. You are staying in South Africa. There are some roads that are full of potholes everywhere. And you are thinking you are righteous when you don't talk about prosperity. I look into the word of God. I discover the streets of God are not even made of tires. They are made of pure gold. Yes. The, between you and God, who's supposed to tell one another something? You change tires of the car almost every week. You even complain, this government. <laughs> and he said, the only thing that I will do, I will speak in tongues. One day when we get to heaven, how do you know that there is a heaven if you don't witness it here? Yeah. yeah. Let me ask you that question. Oh, one day when we get to heaven, the Bible says we'll be sleeping and, you know, angels will be just pouring milk and honey. How do you know there's a heaven if you are not making it in this world? Hello. Amen. At least I know there's a bank account. I have it. No, I know there's a bank account. I have it. Then I say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I believe in you. You said, if I believe in you, all things are possible. I said, here's the bank account. Fill money into it. I'm not saying, oh, Lord, let it be like that. The Bible says that many are the trouble of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him not. Brother, I don't talk like that. I don't talk like that. That is why when you hear people that are saying, oh, we are now talking for the poor masses, not me. Exclude me out. I'm not poor. And you are there. A born again Christian believer, you are the first one on the queue to get free electricity. You are the first one. Where he's speaking in tongues, Maruto Palaya. I said, look, this man, why are you here? Ha, we want free electricity because the Bible says you will receive manna. He -he. He -he. This you. Oh. <laughs> There's a man who's looking at me like this. If Jesus came into the world, after coming into the world, died for you, 
after dying for you, he resurrected for you. After resurrecting for you, he went to heaven on your behalf. After going to heaven on your behalf, he only fills you with the spirit to speak in tongues. Isn't it that a failure? Get to understand the word. God wants you to be perfect, lacking nothing. Paul says you must live a life that is without age. Are you, are you enjoying or we should just say power. Say it again. Say power. Can I tell you something? I'm close now. Prophet was talking about demonology in the morning. You know, there are certain demons that you would never cast out in your body. You can say all kinds of prayers. There are people who are coming and say, man of God, I'm possessed. This and this, deliver me. I'll look at this one. The only deliverance you need is a, a, a serious holiday in Mauritius. Amen. I'm telling you, you get it there, the demons, they check out in your body. Wow. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. I'm telling you the truth. You know, let me tell you, I began casting out demons from when I was nine years. I asked the Lord, there are people I will deal with this same person. I will know this one. I ran away from him. Demons are coming out. The same person. I said to him, in the name of Jesus, come out. The demons is rushing to me. I said, what kind of a demon is this one? I said, now, okay, just hold the person there. I will speak in tongues. I'll go back in the name of Jesus. Come out. The demon is not going out. I said, brother, you need to be rich in life. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus said something. He said, Satan is coming to me, yet he has nothing in me. You can't say that if there is still sickness and disease in your body. You are sick and you are saying the devil is coming and he has nothing in you. Brother, he has something in you. He has something in you. Are you here? Am I talking something that is strange to you? I'm going to, can I show you something? Let me show you something. Are you there? Verse 1. He says, now faith is. Look at this one. He says, not tomorrow. He says when? Now. Look at this one. He says now. Faith is. You want to, you, you know, you can't say, there are people, I've, I've got a son. I gave him a church in Bloemfontein. At times I say, I want, to, I want you to come to, you know, maybe welcome. I want to see you there. He said, ah, Apostle, hey, my finances today are born again. <laughs> I did not get it in the, in, you know, in, in, in the beginning. And I said, born again? What do you mean? He says, apostle, they are like born, born again. And I did not understand. He said, okay, apostle, they are speaking in tongues. I said, what kind? I said, what kind of finances are these? He said, there is no money. <laughs> you know, when I was growing up, people would say, can you give me 20 rent? Then they will say, okay, um, okay, I'll give it to you. I said, okay, where's the money? He said, no, I, I give it to you by faith. I said, what is this? This is my faith. He said, no, the money is not here, but by faith, I give it to you. <laughs> I'm telling you that ah, we've seen certain things. There's a Christian said, oh, I came here to testify. Testify about, I bought a car. I said, where's the car? He said, man of God, it is by faith. I said, do you know what is faith? That is why, that is why, that is why don't allow men to force you to confess that you don't have. The absence of money is not poverty. Hear me. Your problem is that you, you can even tell them, I don't have money. A point again, I don't have money because your eyes don't show you money. Then because of that, you possess that you don't have in the realms of the spirit. That is why every day you are praying, God, I want money. And the devil sends somebody to come and ask it. When the person asks money, you confess it that I don't have it. 
look at you. If I was God, I would love every day. Then you go to, you know, to your wall. You are standing there crying to God. <laughs> what is the problem? People are asking me, where is my God? Brother, your God is inside. What is your problem? I don't have money. You have money. The Bible says there are all things in you. Amen. The only thing you need to do is to manifest that money into reality. Amen. I'm yes. telling you the truth. I was telling somebody, well, at the banks, they say I have money or I don't have money. That is not a problem. Amen. Because the word says that you must look unto Jesus, the author and the perfect of your faith. Amen. That means they are telling me that there is no money. My confessions are not after their confessions. Amen. As I'm working, I say there is money in my account. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Look, let me tell you something. And I will speak to the banks and say, F&B, if you have my name, Absa, if you have my name, in the mighty name of Jesus that I say, Amen. I command you to be full Amen. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Amen. You understand what I'm talking about? Amen. The Bible says that now faith is, Amen. not tomorrow. Amen. Wave your hands towards heaven. Just speak in tongues wherever you are. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. When you take a decision, let me tell you something. In the book of Acts, there were people that were called the sons of consolation. These were the kind of people the Bible says that when men of God need that money, they were there to give it. Brothers and sisters. You need to make a decision that you are going to prosper from today. Amen. The Bible says that now faith is. What is faith? Faith is simply taking God at his word. That means when God says you are rich, you don't need to see yourself rich. You need to believe it. Amen. I was saying somebody, if I come to you as a man of God, and you are sick and I tell you that you are healed. You don't need to feel like you are healed. You need to act on the word. Amen. Then he said, man of God, what are, you, what are you talking about? I said, brother, even if you are still feeling the pains in your body, start walking like somebody who healed. Yes. Here's the problem. You are walking like a poverty man. I don't walk like that. You know, prophet said something. He said, there are people when they walk, you wonder, this, is this a man or... <laughs> Good morning. Are you greeting us or you are swearing? What is your problem? So, brother, when Jesus comes upon you, your shoulders will be tall. Your language will be different. You don't talk like the world. No, you don't talk like the world. Amen. You talk like somebody who knows where he comes from. Amen. Look, there is something that Jesus Christ said. He said that I'm going to the Father, but I'm not leaving you alone. I'm, I'm going to give you what we call Allos Paracletos. Amen. That because of the Holy Spirit that is in you, Amen. you can create anything that you want in your Amen. life. Let me give you a secret as, as I'm closing now, giving it to the men of God. Go to your house, shut the door. When you are shutting the door, you are shutting yourself from the negativism of the world. Amen. You are in your room. It is only you. Then you say, I am born again. You are making confessions now. I am born again. And you are saying to yourself, Father, from now on, I'm going to talk like somebody who is born again. Amen. What is to be born again? You are making confessions that everything in my life is working out for my good. Amen. And you say in the name of Jesus, I refuse to be poor in my life. Amen. You shake yourself off. And you are saying poverty cannot stay in my body. Because yes. I am born again. Yes. Oh. 
Paul said something that is amazing. He said you must work out your own salvation. Amen. You know why? Because when you were born again, salvation was credited to your spirit. Yes. As far as the spirit is concerned, the spirit is born again. Yes. What about your finances? He said to work them out. Amen. Work your salvation out. Amen. Are you going to go to Patrice Mutsip and tell him that you need to be born again by faith? Brother, work out your salvation out. Amen. Let them see that Bentley. Amen. Let them see that Bentley. Amen. Let them see that house that you want. Amen. When the house is there, that is simply working out your own salvation out. Amen. You no longer need to tell people that you are born again. Amen. But they will come and ask you that, brother, what happened with you? Hey. Oh. You know, the Christians of old, they used to walk like this. They put a Bible here and say, but I'm born again. We don't talk like that. I said, you know what I need to do? Come and see my house. Come and see where I stay. You are not going to ask me whether I'm born again or not. Amen. I know that when I show you my bank balance, yes. there is one question that you are going to ask me. Ah. That who is this God Whoa. that you are saving? Wow. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says that faith is the substance of things hoped for. Amen. That means I'm hoping for that company. Yes. But the company is not there. Yes. And I'm not saying that I don't have the company because yes. I'm a man of faith. Yes. No. When I talk, I said I have that company. Yes. They are same way as the company. I said, brother, my faith is the substance. Yes. What is the substance? The Bible says the substance is a title deed. Amen. A substance is a title deed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Take your companies, documents, place them there. Amen. Mention the names. If it is what what holdings, you talk to this company Amen. that is, there is no rejecting form against you that shall prosper. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Then you are collecting money, I collect millions of rents I'll into you. It. Your name is full of favor. I'll Wherever I place your favor will I'll be called upon you. I'll receive it. Our hey. Then place everything there. Amen. Whether it is your bank card or anything. Amen. If you have a driver's license and you don't have a card, take that driver's license. Amen. Put it down there. Amen. Let me tell you something. As I'm closing, I said to somebody, can you go to the bank with your money, with your transport, with your petrol? Go open a bank account that will never have money unto it. I said, cassette is the spirit of rejection in your life. Cassette is the spirit of emptiness in your life. That is why I will take my bank accounts, place them there. Then I say, between me and you, you are not a God. Yes! You were not made. Yes! I was not made for you. Yes! But you were made for me. Yes! Then I say, from now on, hey. you don't need to tell me how much you have. Yes! But I am the one who needs to tell you how wow. much you ought to have. Then I say, we Look, I'm saying to this card, yes. you F and B, Amen. you did not approach me to open the bank account, yes. but I came to you yes. because I knew that I have money. Yes. Now, don't tell me empty yeah. SMS. I am the one who's supposed yes. to tell you how much you ought to have. Yes. Wow. Then when I walk, when I walk, I don't walk like somebody who does not have money. Amen. Even if it's not there. Amen. Even if it is not there. Amen. I like your father. There was a time, there is something that I learned from him. We're meeting a crap, you know, a couple of rich people in Pretoria. They've got a big company there. We want to buy shares in the company. Then I said to him, we are going to a diamond mine and we don't have this money. Then I said, Man, God, let us make an agreement that you are my client. Then I said, when I present to these people, I'm going to say you are an investor from Dubai. Then he said, he said that's it. It is agreed. Pow! Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. When he was talking, the English began to change. Hey! Then I said, what is happening now? Pow! Then he said to them, Woo! he was there. We went into a, in a bedroom. Then he was saying, you know, look. We, 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 we've got, you know, many chains across the country and across all over in, you, in wow. Europe and Dubai and all this. And he's saying unto them that, look, you don't need to worry about anything. He said, my name is Didi Isaacs. Wow. 
I've got a yes. TV station that is broadcasting everywhere. Yes. You can Google my name. Yes. Then how much do you need? Yes. They said how much was 50, 50 million rent or something. Then we said we're going to give unto you. Did we have the money? No. Where was what? the The money was inside. Yes. Naturally, the money was there. Yes. Let me tell you something. He was walking, he was walking like a robot. <laughs> hey. I'm a very humble man. I'm looking at I said to my wife, hey, that man can walk. Power. <laughs> Yes! He's walking like this, you know, he has all these things there. And he's talking very big. Then I said, this is faith in person. Yes! Your problem is not because you don't have. Your problem is you are limited to your sign. Bible says that they that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercies. What is a lying vanity? Anything that God never said in your life is a lying vanity. They say, oh, you are the most poorest person in this street. They say, brother, you are a liar. And because of this that you are seeing, I said, because your eyes are, you know, are, are, are limited. They say, if I am a prophet of God, you know, Amen. Elijah opened the eyes of a young man called Gehazi. They said, let the eyes of this man be opened so that he can see. Many are those that are with us than those that are against us. I can open your eyes tonight and say, Father, open the eyes of these people and let them see what they have yeah, in the land of the Right now, if you are sick, if you are sick, Amen. shake yourself off. Amen. If it is cancer, just shake it off your body. Come on, this is a prophetic movement. Just shake your hands, shake your feet like this. Say, if, if poverty was around, I'm shaking it from my body. I shake it. You are shaking yourself off. I shake it. I shake it. I shake it. I shake it. Come on, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. If it is your bank account, begin to shake it with confessions of the spirit. Tell yourself that there is money to see into this account. Begin to pray. The man of God is coming to the stage now. Amen. But I want to tell you something about an environment. There is such a thing that we call an environment of miracles. Miracles don't happen by accident. You form the environment. Amen. So before he comes, I want you to shake anything that is wrong in your body. Amen. If it is limitation, shake it off from you. Amen. And you know how to, how to shake things? Denounce them. When you're shaking your body, you are saying, you know, sickness, not in my body. Poverty, not in my life. Amen. Lack, not in my life. Yes. Anything wrong, not in my life. Yes. That is what you are shaking them in the ranks of the Amen. spirit. Amen. Are you ready to pray? Yes. But before you pray, look, I am an apostle. I am an apostle. I know you're going to give offerings and everything. But I want you to take an offering of faith. An offering of faith. It is not the offering that you are going to give. I want you to sow into this anointing. Amen. Into the message that you just heard. Amen. You want to say it? Amen. And when you come and place it here, don't come walking like a poor man. Come shaking everything in your body. And after you have planted that seed, when you go back to your seat, go back like the person that you want to be. 
Do you understand what I'm talking about? Are you here? As the person next to you that don't look at the man of God like you are broke. Say brother. brother. That is why when we started. I smelled money around you. I smelled money around you. He said, we, they said to, to this person that we were not playing. We're not playing. Because there is too much around you. Because there is too much around you. Take a, take, take a seat. Not an offering. Take a seat. Take a seat in your hand. Hallelujah. Are you still here? Did you take it? Now I want to show you something. The money that is in your hand. Don't see it as money. See it as a seat. A seat, you don't take a seat that you don't know what is the name of a seat. And you plant it. And you are saying, I'm going to expect this, not knowing what is the name of a seat. I want you to take that, that money and name it the miracle that you want. You are holding it. Don't think I'm holding, you know, 200, 10,000 or something. Hold and saying that this is my promotion. This is that, you know, tender that I was looking for. When you are planting it, you are saying, Father, the Bible says that the words will never leave you and come back to you without accomplishing that which it says. Then when you place it here, believe that you have planted. And let me tell you something. After planting it, Water the seed. Water the seed. How so? With your words. You understand what I'm talking about? When you go back to your seat, go back to your seat walking like a mega millionaire. Talking to yourself that I'm rich and not poor. And say it, saying it in your system that I reject poverty with everything that is in me. Are you ready? Now, take that seat, lift it up. Lift it up. Father, in the name of Jesus. By the anointing upon your servant. This is not money. But in the realms of the spirit, we turn it into seeds. That it's going to be planted into the accurate word of God. The word that does not fail. And I know father and believe that after this meeting. Many are going to be elevated and catapulted into higher dimensions in the realms of the spirit. Thank you for your glory in Jesus Christ's name. Come rejoicing. Just put your seat here. And when you go back, go back like a millionaire. Are you ready? Begin to pray wherever you are as you are coming now in front. Begin to pray. Come on, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. I serve a big God. He will do it again. I serve a big God. He can do the impossible. I serve a big God. He will do it again. I serve a big God, He can do the impossible. I serve a big God, He will do it again. Say, I serve a big God, I serve a big God, He can do the impossible. I serve a big God, He will do it again. Say, I serve a big God, I serve a big God. He will do the impossible. I serve a big God. I serve a big God. He will do it, he will again. Do it again. Say, I serve a big God. I serve a big God. He can do the he impossible. Will do impossible. I, serve I serve a big God. He can do it, he will do it again. Say, I serve a big God. I serve a big God. He will do the impossible. Will do the impossible. I, serve I serve a big God. I serve a big God. He will do it again. So, so, yeah, 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 say, yeah he will do, do it again. again. I say, yeah, 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 Say, I serve a big 
have a big God. He can do the impossible. I have a big God. He will do it again. I have a big God. He can do the impossible. He can do the impossible. Say, I have a big God. He can do the impossible. I have a big God. Yeah, we'll do it, we'll again. Do it again. Say, I yes, have a big God. Yes, big God. He can do the impossible. I yes, have a big God. He will do it again. Hallelujah. I will praise the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. I will worship him and give him praise to him alone. He who was and is and is to come, I will sing before his throne forever and ever. I will sing holy, I will sing holy, if you know the song, join me and say, holy, I will sing holy, to the one who died for me and you, yeah. holy, I will sing Seated at the throne oh, is holy. Yes, I will sing oh, to the one who went to the cross for my oh, sake. Holy, oh, I will sing holy to the one who rose again. Yes, we do. We join the seraphims and cherubims tonight. We join the twenty and the four elders. Yes, we do. We join the entire heavenly host. Yes, we do. And we lift up our hands unto you, oh God. And we cry, holy, 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 holy. Holy, 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 holy. We cry, holy, 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 holy. Yes, it's holy. His holy, his holy, 
He's holy. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy. He's righteous. He's set apart. He's separated. He's righteous. He's set apart. He's separated. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy. There you go, shut. He's holy.
holy Lord Father you are holy Rise up on our feet whatever you are Rise up, rise up, rise up Lift up your hands Lift your hands, say Father Father Speak to me. Speak to me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I don't know. The Lord spoke to me today not to speak. He told me to write. So I've got few words to speak to people. And I've got many words to write down. Take your seats. Don't go anywhere, you people. The Lord is about to do something amazing. I receive. Hey, you don't know me. I receive it. I'm not apologizing. I receive. June. My child. June. My child. Your Brian. child. Yes. Ah. Yes. Okay. You're from Zimbabwe? Yes, I'm from Zim. Professor! Do you know a place like Kwe Kwe? Kwe Kwe? Yes, I know. Ah. My uncle used to live there. But there's a place like Wange? Yes. Like Wange? Wange. My father used to work there. Ah. Wange, yeah. In one father, game. Yes. But wait. I want to help you. Because you're about to divorce. Thank okay. You. Can I help, help you? Help me. Help, huh? help me, Papa. There is. In the realms of the spirit, I saw a black bear around your marriage. And the Lord says, I must pray for you. And that bear, it was a sign for your husband to divorce you. Oh, and that's God. the reason when I looked at you, I saw a lot of problems yes. in your marriage. It's true. It's true. It was in 2013 yes. where you wanted to undergo a separation. Yes. It true. was in uh, October, October, the end of the year. But when I looked at your husband is here. He's here. Huh? Yes. Call him. Huh? Why am I saying to women? Huh? I was once married. Huh? I was once married. You were once married. So this is the second one. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Second one. Professor! I see two children. Huh? I've two children. Two. Yes. Eh? Yes, I've got two. But this is like a girl. Yes, a and girl a, and boy. They and are a boy. Here, yes. Huh? Yes. Call them here. There's... Power. Can you call them? I'm very fast. Eh? I'm very fast. Now, as I look at you, I see an engineering company. Yes, I'm a mechanic. Huh? I'm a mechanic. I'm an engineer. Professor. Ah, you know me. I just don't love such kind of people. Professor. Like a mechanic. Yes. You are yes. dealing with cars and other things. I fix cars, I do everything huh? on the cars, yes. But come here. <laughs> it was in Soweto. Yes. In Soweto. I used to, I used to work for SAPS garage in Oxford. In Soweto. Yes. They fired you, something happened there. Yeah, our contract was just ended. Like, huh? Something just... happened in Soweto. <laughs> yes, huh? my, our contract just ended from in Soweto. Market. Yes. Not only that, you you are not supposed to be working in Soweto. Yes. You are supposed to have your own company. It's true. Because it's true. I see even you registered a company. Yes, huh? I got a business that I'm supposed to start a company next By month. the name of the company, you put it like in your name. Yes. Huh? Roger Automotives. Professor! Hey. You put it in your name. Roger Automotives, yes. Not only that, God told me to pray for you. Because when I was looking at you, I saw a demon. Kashobla Hati 
I am trying to speak to a lot of people tonight. Prophesy! Yes. That's the reason I will never prophesy. I will never prophesy to people that are not ready for my prophetic word. It's mine. It's prophesy! Did you is it? I can choose whether for you to be rich, to be a millionaire, to get... I, I can choose. receive it! Do you have somebody who was born in April? In April? This eh? is my child, my first born. He's born in April. April yes. This one, June. June. Yes, I'm also June. You, June, also. Yes, yeah. Now, with your first marriage, yes. I see a child. Yes. Huh? yes. But I speak. I see three. The two, it's like I see three. The other one, it was like a miscarriage. Yes, he had a miscarriage before. Ah, uh, not, not this one. There is another marriage. Do something. Go deeper. Ah, no, no, tell me. No, 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 go deeper here. <laughs> go deeper where? Tell me. <laughs> now, the Lord says I must pray for you because I saw somebody like an M, 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 like. My, this, my other name is Manga. No, 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 no. Not your mother. Wait, I will tell you. Huh? Wait, I will tell you everything. Don't worry. Huh? Don't worry. No a lie. Now, there is a demon that is looking for his life, this man. That I must pray. The first thing that I saw, I saw a belt that was moving on the head of this woman. And God they said, they pray for her. Because when I was seated there, the spirit of the Lord had to lift me up to a place. And when I looked at her, the Lord they says, look at her, the husband it's like there is a first marriage. Yes, yes. And it's like there's something that took place. This was like in 2000, 2013. Yes. That's 2013. True. Yes. Huh? Yes. What happened in 2013? That's when she went to her place. That's when she went. Yes. Why am I saying Zimbabwe? We are all from same. Huh? We are all from, from Zimbabwe. Same. Yes. But not only that, this man, he was supposed to die. Yes. He was supposed to die. I there know. was where he was working. It's like while he was working, it's like a car. A car to fall on him. Yes. Huh? Yes. A when, car had to fall on him. Yes, in June. And he had no scratch. Yes, he huh? came out. Yes. It was in June. Yes. In on 26th of June. Yes, that's true. Professor Didi Isaac. You come here. You are carrying a bouncing baby girl. Yes. Ah. Yes, Papa. You are carrying a bouncing baby girl. Yes, Papa. But the Spirit of the Lord it tells me another baby is entering you now. I receive. There are twins that are going I to receive. appear now. Oh, you are joking with me, you people. Ah, yes. What baby are you carrying? Take care. He said, what? Take care. When you go to deliver, it will be two coming out. I receive. I receive. Receive double miracles. I receive it. But on this pregnancy, you have had a lot of problems. It's huh? true, Bob. You have had a lot of problems to the point that you have been having a lot of nightmares. It's Is true. it true? It's true. To the point that even... When you go to sleep, you are afraid. That's true. Bro. Now, look at you. Do something. That's the reason I don't love to prophesy. Do you have somebody who was born in uh, August? Yes, it's my husband. Call him. You? You? Yes, Papa. They charged your husband. Last week, they called him for Lobola. Yes, Papa. Huh? They charged him 150 cows. Yes, Papa. Professor! Prophetic sharp shooter! Papa? 150. Huh? It was 15 cows. Huh? 15 cows. 150,000 rand. 150,000 rand. Yes, Papa. Yeah. Prophesy! Did he, Isaac? And you are praying with such kind of a man. Prophesy! God of everything. Heaven and the doctor. The earth and all that most will say. Papa, you are too much. Glory to the king. We magnify his name. 
He is God. I God of everything. God of everything. Heaven and earth adore. The earth and all that moves will say, Glory to the King. Glory, Glory to, to the King. We magnify His name. Magnify His name. He is God. He is God. I say, God of everything. Yeah. God of everything. Heaven and earth adore. The air and all that moves. We'll say glory to the King. We magnify His name. He is God. He's a wonder. He's a wonder. He's a wonder. Hey, He's a wonder. He's a wonder. Hey, He's a wonder. He's a wonder. Hey, He's a wonder. 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 Hey, He's a wonder. He's a wonder. He's a wonder. My God is a wonder. He's God of everything. I say he's a wonder. He's a wonder. He's a wonder. My God is a wonder. He's a wonder. The songs we sing. The songs we sing. The air we breathe. It all belongs to you. God of everything. We praise your name. We shout for joy. Say he is God. Say God of everything. God of everything. Heaven and earth and The earth and all that moves. We'll say glory to the king. Glory to the we king. Magnify his name. Magnify his name. He is God. He is God. I say he's the one. 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 Hey. I say he's the one. He's the one. He's the one. He's a wonder. He's a wonder. He's a wonder. I say he's a wonder. 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 Pow! Sit down. You know, you people. You know, I always play with you. Eh? You know, I can play with the prophetic, eh? Like, a, like can play like football. Yes. <sighs> like now, as I'm looking at you, only you will receive. I receive it. Pow! Wait. You are from Swaziland. So you speak like Swazi or what? I'm from my language. Huh? I'm like from Swazi. My yeah, Swaziland, like that. That's my language. Pow! Walk, walk, walk. Lirush idia bahazo. I receive. La shiki ya prokotozia. You. The Lord says, Who is Junior? I don't know. Bro. Okay, 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 okay. I'll mention even things that you don't know. Yes. Bro. Do you know Joshua? No, Papa, I don't eh? know. I don't know Joshua. Joshua. Thank you, Jesus. I receive. I receive, Papa. I receive. As I'm talking to you now, I am traveling. I am in a place. I am in the spirit. And the angel of the Lord has given me a privilege to see. While they are discussing, and I'm seeing the angel of the Lord, they are mentioning you. Yes. As they are mentioning you, I was asking, why are you mentioning this woman? And the angels right now, they showed me like a basket. When I looked at inside the basket, in the 
basket, in the basket, there was a lot of gifts. But this basket, it was being dropped at number 13. Yes, Papa, that's my house number. Professor Didi Isaac, prophetic sharpshooter. At number 13. Yes, Papa. In the breads. Yes, Papa. Papa, you are too much for raising Yes, I know, I am too much. Yeah. Yo, sir, stand up, stand up. The Lord is going to lift you. Can you speak up? Can you answer? You, I don't want to waste my prophetic word. You, I saw the angel right now. He was going to breast breasts at house number thirteen. Huh? It's like yellow color. Yes, Papa. Yellow, yellow color. Yes, Papa. Huh? Yes, Papa. Yellow color. It's true. And I saw the angel dropping a financial breakthrough. I receive, Papa. I receive. I receive. Take, 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 take. I receive. 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 As I'm looking in the spirit, I am traveling to a place. As I'm traveling to a place, I see somebody. I see somebody. I don't know how you pronounce it. Like mu 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 mu. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's, 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 it's a, a Swazi name. Mu. Wait, wait. Bring a paper. Kalabahati gibi. I receive. If I can't mention it, then I can write it. Yes. That's, that's a reason. Look, God does not use foolish people. Yes. Even for God to use, he will check your scope. Yes. Whether you can represent him. Yes. No. Wow. Not you you failed. You failed in everything. <laughs> and you say, I want to join ministry. <laughs> you can't even write. Ah, <laughs> Bazalwani. Inkulunkula Gubusi. Say siabonga. Siabonga. Mm. Le rich adia suga. I receive. Le roche dia katuski. I receive. Do you have somebody like George? George. Eh? George. George. Eh? My uncle. George. Yes. Eh? Yes. Is your uncle? Yes. Now, George is sick. George is sick. Do you it's know? true, Pop. Eh? It's true. Can I mention? Yes, Pop. You eh? can mention. Eh? Yes, Pop. I, I ask you. Yes. Because I don't want at the end of it you say, ah, you know, you know that prophet, you know, you know, I did not give him permit. That's the reason I ask you. Can I prophesy to you? Professor! I can't just come to you. I must be given permission. Yes. Even when you sue me. Even when you sue me. I will also stand in the court of law to say, you gave me permission. Yes! George is sick, very sick. He has got a blood problem. Yes, Papa. Eh? He's yes, like Papa. HIV positive. Yes, Papa. Eh? Now, not only that, the Lord says, is going to go to all your family members because there is a curse of HIV in your family. Yes, but huh? it's true. And that curse has been killing a lot of family members. It's true. Is it true? It's true. But the Lord told me to pray for this man because there is a favor of God that God is going to release oh, for him. Yes. Because when oh, yes, Lord. you, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Can you run? Can you run? Can you run? You people, all of you, you have got same things. Do you know him? I don't know him. Eh? I don't know him. Eh? I don't know He's him. your cousin. <laughs> yeah! Professor Didi Isaac! Correcta Bahate! I receive it! I receive it! Receive, yes. receive, receive! Receive, receive! I receive it! Receive your miracle! I receive it! Your deliverance! I receive it! Your money! I receive your it! Your interest! I receive your it! Your seven bedroom! I receive it! Say I take it! I take it! Say it is my portion! It is my portion! Yes! This man is your cousin. Okay, wait, 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 wait. All of you have got some things. How many children do you have? Eh? I've got two. How many children do you have? This is the first one. How many children do you have? Two, probably. Eh? 
How many children do you have? Two. Eh? Two. Now, wait, 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 wait. You are expecting which is going to be two. Yes. Eh? This yes. one has got two. Eh? Yes. When were you born? Uh, 1990. When were you born? 1983. 1983. Yes. Okay. You, what do you do? I'm an engineer. You? A businessman. Eh? A businessman. Businessman. Yes. Now, I want to shock you because you don't know each other. Oh, yes. Papa, shock us. Professor! It take Professor! A it will now take a prophet. Have you ever met him before? No, Papa. Eh? No, never Papa. Met. You? Have you ever met him? No, I Papa. Met him. Have you ever talked? No, no. Papa. No. Professor! Professor! There are Shock some us, of you. Papa. There are some of you when I look at you like this, when I look at you prophetically, you are married to your sister. It's only you don't know. I'm telling you, when I look at you like this, if I begin to follow your generation prophetically like this, yeah. even the one you call your wife, it's not your, she's your sister. <laughs> Say deeper. Deeper. That's, that's the reason you need the prophetic to remove the pathetic. Yes. Eh? Yes. Now, walk behind. Walk. I want to shock you. Stand there. La so shadow. Receive. La rocha diga. I receive. La na 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 na. I receive. La so shada. I receive. E so shadiga. I receive. La so. Me so da ba. I receive. Li ra so. I receive it. La sho sa I receive. Li kra so sha. I receive. Ha ta ha ta. I receive. Ma shadu. I receive. O shadigata. I receive. As I'm singing now, you know, I'm very soft today. Very soft. Very, very soft. You give the microphone. And then give that one. I want to get a prophecy. Most of you, when I look at you, I must take your prophecy now. If I can't see it very well. That's the reason in the school of pro, uh, in, the, in the school of prophets, we don't only prophesy to those that God has given us an instruction. But sometimes if we can't see it very well in the spirit, we are able to look at some people that have got similarities. So that we can be able to prophesy very easy. That lady there. Where not in 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 is it orange or blue or what? Which one? Is it blue? This one. Orange, man of God. Huh? Orange. No, it's blue. <laughs> I received. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's blue. Huh? Do you know most of you when I look at you like this? Huh? You look like you are putting on black. But prophetically, you are putting on another color. The blue that you call here on earth, in heaven, is not blue. That's the reason some of you when I look at you like this, you can be putting on red. When I look at you, you look naked. And as a result, uh, <coughs> who is on period? Who is on period? Like on Miss, 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 there's somebody next to you. Next Go and ask. Me. Go and ask next to you. There's somebody next to you there. There. This lady. Like somebody who is bleeding. 
Can you go and ask? There's somebody there who is bleeding. It's ah. me, prophet. It's me. Oh! <laughs> you are the one who is bleeding. Yes. Eh? Yes. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> that row there. That's the reason I could not go. Oh! I could not go. It's a prophetic papa. Prophetic baba. Where is she? <laughs> you know, let me tell you. Sometimes the things that I see in the normal sense you can't speak them. I remember one day I'm in the service in the service like this. I looked at a man. I looked at him. I did not see his head. I saw a head of a crocodile. <laughs> and I was so I was afraid. I said, who is this man? I looked at him again. I saw like a crocodile is laughing. <laughs> and I was trying to ask God, God, what is this? What is the meaning? And I just went to him and said, Sir, your brother was eaten by the crocodile. He said, yeah, yes, it's true. <laughs> Not knowing that the crocodile that I was seeing, it was prophetic. Now, come here. You have a period problem. Eh? That's true. Even you, you have a period yes, problem. Yes, Professor! Prophetic sharpshooter! So now I was taking what I'm teaching you now. Eh? I'm teaching you now. You see, I could not see it very well. So I must take somebody with such kind of a situation. Amen. That's when now I must conclude now. You see, now I've come to that woman telling her, You, you have got period problem. You have got period problem. So I'm a teacher in the prophetic. I can teach you to prophesy to your wife when she comes late. You put her on the scanner. You say, can I prophesy? <laughs> you tell her, say, you met such kind of a person at such kind of a time. And he was putting on this. This was his name. Prophetic. Now, you have been having this period problem for a long time. Even yes. you, when you are pregnant, you see blood. Eh? Yes, Pop. Now, the Lord says, your problem is over. Thank you. Okay? I receive, I receive. The problem is what? I receive. The problem is over. Your problem is over. I receive. You now. So you, you have got the same problem, eh? Now, remaining you. How? Now, I need to select somebody. I will not prophesy using my voice. I will prophesy using a sign. Why are you following me, sir? Eh? Eh? Are they give you prophecy you, do, you don't want? No, sir. Eh? No, sir, sir. Are you from Nigeria or what? Go deeper, sir. Are you from Nigeria or Niger? Yes. Eh, you I'm look like Nigeria. one. <laughs> Niger man. Niger man. Put your two hands for Niger man. <laughs> Niger, Niger, Niger. Some of you, when I look at you, I know what you are thinking. I personally know. And some of you are thinking, ah, if this man. I know. You know, when you look at me, there's nothing that you can speak against me. Or there's nothing wrong you can see about me because inside me there is the word of God. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Do I know you? No, sir. Can you speak up now? Am no, I your friend? No, sir. Am I your friend? No, sir. Do we play together? No, sir. Am I your uncle? No, sir. Come. come. Why are you standing? <laughs> Did I tell you to stand? No, Follow me. Thank you, sir. Be on the middle there. <laughs> Is he an usher this one?
power. <laughs> ah? Ah? Eh? <laughs> Are you a Russia? Yes, Papa. Ah? Yes. Come here. Let me prophesy to you. I'm provoked. Stand there. <laughs> you are not sure. Yes, Papa. <laughs> ma, 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 ma. Are you an usher for real? Yes, Papa. Because even me, it's a miracle. Are you a Russia? Yes, Papa. <laughs> Pastor Keith, intervene. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you know, I wanted to see. I wanted to see something in the spirit. When I, it's like an usher distracted me in this. So you you saw. When I looked at that side, ah, what is this? <laughs> lift up your hands, lift up your hands. Let's thank God, let's thank God, let's thank God. <laughs> thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Okay. <laughs> Do you know somebody who's a policeman? Yes, I, I used to work for a police. Eh? My, my friends are police. Most, eh? of them. Most of my friends are police. They are police. Yes. You is army. Yes, eh? yes, yes. Professor! There's a contract that you are going to win. Oh, yes. We receive it. You, you. Oh I yes, receive. I you receive it. You are going to win a contract in the army. Oh yes. It will be to do with uh, repairing of jets. Oh yes, I receive it. Wow. Do you know anything about that? Yes, Papa. Huh? Yes, Papa. What do you know? Uh, actually, we are... Dealing with defense, defense forces. Power! This will happen in Zambia. Yes, it's Zambia, Papa. Power! Turn around four times. What is the month? What is the, num what is the number of this month? Number four. On 28th of this month, there will be a breakthrough. Oh, yeah. Even you, even you, even you. Receive, receive, receive. 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 Oh, receive it. My God, my God. Oh, receive it. Bring your wife, bring your wife, bring your wife. Oh, hey, your parents. Hey, they wanted to chase this young man. It's true, Papa. Eh? It's true. Eh? It's true, Papa. It's true, Papa. They wanted. He was gone. Hey, Lobola. Hey. It's true, Papa. They charged this young man. Even me, if you charge me like that, I leave your daughter. <laughs> Are you saying to me or what? Is it business? Shh, wait. You know, the, I, I was told that the issue of Lobola, it even entered the parliament. I'm telling you, it's serious. And now people, they have tended to be business. You would have lost this young man if it was not the intervention of God. Praise God. Thank you, this Jesus. man prays a lot. Thank you, Jesus. When, when they charged him, like 150, one cow is 6,000. It was eight, Papa. Uh, no, they reduced it. Yes. Uh, you have forgotten when they called him. Yes. Eh? Yes. Power. The eyes of God. They called him. Not this one eight. 
not this one. The eight one, it was at first. Yes. Huh? It's true, when he Bob. went there. Yes. Huh? Yes. And then true. they called him after they left the place. Yes. They called him. Huh? Yes. Bob. They called him. Yes. It was, it was, it was, it was. When they called him, it was like on Sunday. It's true, huh? Bob. It's they called true. him on Sunday. Yes. And then they told him they have reduced the amount to 6,000. Yes, Pop. Pow! I command your in laws <laughs> to reduce your level. <laughs> I receive. I, I'm telling you. You know, me, I've got crazy grace. Eh? One day, shh, I looked at my son. I looked at him. I said, Son, when you go to your in laws' place, go in my grace. They will just tell you that, take our daughter, we just love you. For free. For free. And I prayed for him. And I was thinking maybe they would charge, charge him like big time. I just told him, go in my grace. When you reach there, just have my anointing oil. Anoint yourself on the tongue. When you speak, your words must be so enticing. And he arrived there. He was speaking, speaking. An old man came from nowhere. He said, ah, you know what? We just love you. So we have just decided that we should give you our daughter. Wow. We, we have decided, no payment. We have just decided to give you our daughter. <laughs> At least they canceled your date. <laughs> May you receive finances that have never had. I receive it. Turn around three times. That is not turning. Come here. That is joking. <laughs> this guy is crazy, eh? How can you, how can you be turning like that? Huh? I say SIM card. I say SIM card in your wallet. I've got two SIM cards. Huh? I've got two phones. Like MTN? MTN. MTN. MTN and stuff. Huh? M10 and I've got two funds. Bring it here. Remove it. You, are, you want to miss a call you. Remove it. No, the one which is here. Yeah. This one, the vet is flat, so it's off. Eh? Yeah. You're about to miss a call you. Do you know this number? Do you know this number? Eh? Do you know this number? Which one? Do you know this number that I will give you? I will know it. Huh? <laughs> I received the number. Do you know this number that I will give you? Yes. <laughs> Professor Papa. Prophetic confusion. <laughs> oh. 08 42 160823 You There's a number right now. Check on your phone. Check check on your phone. This man he was supposed to receive a promotion today. But because his phone was off. That's the reason you must, when, when you're in the presence of God, you must keep your phones on. Because when I'm declaring like this, there are things that you can't see that are entering your phone. Amen. I receive. Jesus. Come here. You smoke. around three times. 
just there. He has done it four times. Repeat again. Pow. That's instruction. You do your own things, it doesn't happen. Keep your phone on. Okay. After 10 minutes, somebody will call you using that number that I've got. I've I receive, you. I receive. Pa. I okay? receive. Yes, I receive. Huh? I receive. And this call, it will be coming from Shell. I receive. Pa. Shell Garage. I receive. Okay? I receive. Pa. But keep this woman. Love her. I love you so eh? much. Uh-uh. I will love you. you. You make her wake up around 03. Eh? You do your calling. She's a very good woman. Thanks, Papa. She's a very good woman. Keep her. Thanks, Papa. Okay? Thanks, Papa. You have not seen the blessing of God over your life. Keep this woman. You will see. You know, there are some women. I that see, you, Papa. There are some certain women, when you meet them, your life changes. Some of them, when you meet them, your life goes worse. I receive her. Keep her, okay? I receive her. Uh, God bless you. Love you. Take care. Come here. Thank you, Jesus. A uh, few days remaining. A few days remaining. You're supposed to give birth at seven months. Oh. Hey, you're supposed to give birth at seven months. I receive. Ah, uh, don't receive. <laughs> okay, how many months? How many months? How many months? That's seven months. She just entered what? I said she was supposed to give what? On seven months. Papa, it's true. She was complaining, uh, especially this month, that there was something that was like uh, some come coming out. The baby is too. The baby is too fat. Oh huh? yes. Plus another one that has appeared. Oh yes, Papa. I received in that fact, boy. In fact, the 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 girl. The girl will be born. The girl will be born with 3.8. Oh yes. And the boy will be born with 4.2. Oh yes, I receive <laughs> prophetic babies. Jesus. They are born with abnormal weight. Oh yes, Papa. I was praying for the twins. Eh? I was disappointed when I we were told that it's one. You are disappointed. Yeah. No, you did not do the work very well. <laughs> now I'm happy. It's double. Okay. It is done. The Lord has done it for you. Thank you, Jesus. You will have your child, your, your, your babies very well. Thank you, Papa. And I see God's grace, Esther and Joshua. Thank you, Papa. Oh! Go. Go. It is done. So, you, you are having period. Yes. Period yes. problem. Yes. This has been in your life for the past two years. Yes. Huh? Yes, it Papa. has been... Sometimes there was even a time in 2015 where it disappeared for three months. Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. Now, the Lord told me that now you will not have any complications. Thank you, Jesus. I receive. Huh? I receive. You know, if, you, if, you, if I call a Nigerian prophet, that's the reason I love to prophesy to Nigerians. They know how to answer. Yes. Not to hear you. Hear you. That's the reason when I go to some places, I get motivated just by answering. Amen. Here, here, here in South Africa, you call a person and say, you, come here. Your name is so-so and so-so. Be like, <laughs> like, yes. You, as I'm looking at you, you are waking up their mind. Um, yes. You, um, I'm looking at you. You are having three children. Uh, one was born in July on the 17th. Uh, mm, no. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Before you finish the prophecy, you have already been quenched. That's the reason you see me before I prophesy. I, I make sure that the environment is well protected. So, Lord has set you free. I receive, Papa. Okay. Yes, Papa. Huh? Mm. The Lord has set you free. I receive. I see a bank. My sister works at a bank. Huh? My sister works There's at a bank. There's promotion coming. I receive. For your sister. I receive, Papa. Okay. I receive. Turn around two times. The Lord says, two. Turn around again. Ten.
them two times. It is done now. I Your receive. miracle is set up. I receive, Baba. I thank you, Jesus. Go, it is done. How are you? I'm fine, man of God. You're fine. No, I'm not fine. Yeah, I'm doing all right, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm doing all right, you know. Yeah, I love such kind of people, you know, that are coming from United States, you know. <laughs> so that's not my problem, man. Eh? So what do you want me to prophesy? Everything, man of God. Everything. Yes, man of God. You. Where now? You're from where? Caltonville. Hmm? In Caltonville. After Ranfontaine. You know, the work I do is very, you know, to teach is very easy. But prophecy stresses me because I must, I must concentrate. Huh? It's a high level of concentration. Eh? High level of concentration. That's the reason you see me when I'm disturbed. I just easily stop. From Cottonville. Yes, man of God. Cottonville. Yes, Walk three steps. God. Much. Much. There's something much. unique about much in your life. Much. There's something unique about much in your life. Where are you working? At Sibanya Gold, at eh? the mine. Huh? At the mine. At the mine. Yes, huh? man of God. Do you know that in March you're supposed to be promoted? No, man of Do you God. Know? I didn't know. And that's the reason there's a lot of people that are around you that are jealous of you. Because when I was looking at you, I saw, I saw a promotion that was supposed to take place in March. And now it is delaying. I'm, I'm seeing you as a bright woman. But it's like there is a big problem here. Are you married? No, man of God, I'm not. Do you have a child? No, man of God, I don't. Do you have a car? Yes, man of God, I do. Do you have your own house? No, man of God, I don't. Now, let me tell you your problem. Financially, you're doing well. But just a little bit for the past three months where you encountered a lot of debts. Yes, man of God. Now, I want to pray. Can I pray? Amen, man of God. Can I pray for you? Yes. Huh? Yes. Everything is okay. I Don't receive. worry about the finances. It's not a problem. I Don't worry about where you are working. Okay, the biggest man. problem. There's a lot of burden over your shoulders. Yes, and the burden that you are true. having is a burden for your family. Yes, man huh? of God, it's true. Because there's a spirit of poverty. Huh? Yes, man People, of they God. struggle a lot. Yes. Even your mother, your yes. mother, she struggles a lot. Yes, because true. I see you being raised up with your mother. Yes, huh? man of God, it's true. And that's the reason you even made a covenant that when God blesses me, yes. I should bless my mother. Yes, because your mother, she's going through a lot of things. Yes. Is it true? Yes, man huh? of God, it's true. Because you, when I look at you, it's like you're the breadwinner in your family. Yes. That's the reason there's a lot of responsibility over you. Who is the firstborn? That's me. It's you. Yes. That's the reason there's a lot of responsibility over your shoulders. Now, the Lord yes. says she has got no problem. The problem is husband. Your mother, was she married? No. Was she married? God, no. Eh? No. If I can give you an opportunity to select among my sons. Give a microphone. <laughs> okay. Uh, if I gave you the opportunity to select. <laughs> oh, my handsome sons.
my son. <laughs> it's a prophecy that I've said. prophecy that I've said. This is a prophecy. Amen. Eh? Amen. So I've, I've spoken indirect. Amen. Among my son, there's a powerful one. <laughs> there is a Messiah. Okay? Amen. So I've, I've given you a prophecy. Amen. So, I receive. So don't pray. Just after the service, just position yourself. <laughs> Have you heard? In December, you'll be in a relationship. Amen. A crazy one. Amen. The man who proposed you today. Wow. Amen. I receive. To, now. I after, receive. After I finish. I receive. <laughs> receive now. I receive. So, just position yourself, eh? Amen. Yeah, I've yes, given you a prophetic word. One of my son. I know him. Amen. I'm not I mentioned. <laughs> now your life is going to change. Amen. One thing, I, one thing I love about you. Can I tell you one thing I love about you? Please do, man huh? of God. Please do. You have kept yourself. Yes, man of God. She has kept herself. That's one thing that God loves about you. Amen. So I've told you, just after the service, powder yourself. <laughs> Amen. Powder yourself. I, I personally know. I know my sons here. I know them. I'm telling you, wait. Wait. Lift up your hands. Stretch forth your hands towards this woman. I pray for you that the Lord will increase you. I receive. In Jesus' name. I receive. Remove this ring. That's the reason men are not proposing you. Because they, they know. They know that you are already fully booked. <laughs> okay. Your mom, what did she tell you? My mom. About marriage, what did she tell you? Sure, uh, hey, 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 wait, but the, the 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 man who's going to propose you, he'll be younger than you with three years. But accept him. I receive. Eh? I receive, man of God. It's not the age that marries; it's the heart. Okay. God bless you. Go. It is done. Don't forget the instruction. Put your two hands for Jesus. Shh. Let me leave it. Once again, all my viewers, those that are watching us on Facebook, I believe you have been blessed, you have been touched, and uh, tomorrow we are having a prophetic service right here at the uh, Holy Ghost Embassy, Holy Land, and uh, God is going to do something amazing. Now, I wanted to invite somebody tomorrow because tomorrow we are finishing. Remember that tomorrow is a resurrection Sunday. It's a resurrection Sunday, and I wanted to come with your prayer points, what you want God to do for you. And don't leave anyone at home. My uh, nurses, are you? Can I see all the nurses? If you're a nurse, stand up. You are a nurse. Go there. Go there. If you're a nurse. Do you have any other one who is a nurse? Do you have any other one who is a nurse? Okay. So, look, look, look. Sunday, I am having, I'm having cancer, um, HIV, and diabetes test. Okay. 
So I'll be praying for people one by one. They'll be testifying right there. Are you ready? <laughs> so you have got some friends that are sick. You have got some relatives that are sick. You have got some aunties that are sick. That's the reason you see me. I allowed a lot of uh, men of God to preach to you. To minister to you so that I can prepare myself. You have been blessed by the, by, by the ministry of Apostle Tabo. Yes. Put up your hands for him. Power. I personally know that you have been blessed. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You have been what? Blessed. So tomorrow, come prepared. It's, 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 it's going to be nice. There will be, look, tomorrow, there will be crazy miracles. The Lord showed me in a vision. I had a vision this morning when I was praying. I saw I was in the service and I disappeared. Completely disappeared like bah. I completely disappeared. And uh, I had another vision where I saw myself in the office. The Lord spoke to me that there will be crazy miracles. You will see you will see like money, money, money. It will be appearing on the floor. Amen. On the floor. Some of you, some of you, you'll be having some water. You'll find your water turning like this. Turning to petrol. Some of you, your, your, your cars, your cars, you, as you go outside, you'll find this food tank. I receive it. Look, I am not joking. When I tell you this, when I tell you this, I personally know. And there's some people that evil people, they buried some things at your house. You'll see tomorrow, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we will investigate them one by one. So, don't leave anyone at home. Close the house. Come with everybody. Come with anyone that is connected to you. Your children. As Jesus Christ will be resurrecting, resurrect also with your children. Am I talking to somebody here? Amen. So, all those that are watching us, may the Lord bless you. Be my guest tomorrow. I'm prepared for you. And I'll be able to lay my hand on everyone. Amen. I'll lay my hand on everyone. And make sure you come on time. You come late. This place is going to be jam-packed. I promise you this. It will be jam-packed. So come around exactly 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock you are here. To secure your chair. I promise you. So it's going to be great tomorrow. God bless you. And shalom, shalom. Put up two hands for Jesus.